Okay, nature lovers, here's one for you. What to do when you see a snake? What? There's something else to do other than jump out of your skin and scream like Jamie Lee Curtis in Halloween? Oh! Well, unexpectedly coming face to face with a snake can be a scary experience. But how can you tell if it's venomous? And what should you do if it bites you? For the answers to these questions and more, just keep on watching. Hey, it's only a video. But first, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to join us on the bright side. Now, snakes can either be venomous or non-venomous. Non-venomous snakes don't have poison in their teeth, which means their bite isn't extremely dangerous for your health. You should still see a doctor though, just so they can take care of the wound and make sure that everything's okay. Venomous snakes, on the other hand, have toxic venom in their fangs that can lead to serious health problems and even death if it gets in your system. But how can you distinguish the two, especially if you're running away? Don't worry, there are several clear signals that can help you here. Here's number one. Look at its head. One of the most obvious signs of a poisonous snake is its triangular head. Although not all venomous snakes have it, their necks are usually distinctly skinnier than their heads. Non-venomous snakes, on the other hand, tend to have round heads that are more continuous with the rest of their body. Number 2. Pay attention to its pupils. Like you're gonna get that close? Nah, hang with me here. Most venomous snakes have elliptical and vertical pupils, while non-venomous snakes have round ones. However, there are still some exceptions to this rule you should know about. Non-venomous snakes can easily change the shape of their pupils in dangerous situations to look more powerful and frightening to their opponent. Plus, there are some extremely venomous snakes with round pupils, like the famous black mamba or cobra. So, don't rely on this factor alone when trying to identify the type of snake you're dealing with. No kidding. Number 3. Examine the space between its eyes. Yeah, like you're gonna get real close. Venomous snakes have a little advantage over their non-venomous peers when it comes to hunting. They've got a heat-sensitive pit that helps them locate their prey through infrared radiation. It's kinda cool. Known as a pit organ, it's usually located between their eyes or nostrils. So look out for it, if you have time. Number 4. Note its color and behavior. Poisonous snakes are often more vibrant, both in their coloring and behavior. If you see a beautiful, bright-colored snake, chances are that it is, in fact, venomous. There are some exceptions here as well, like scarlet king snakes and milk snakes. They're very colorful reptiles, but they're not poisonous at all. As for their behavior, venomous snakes are known to hiss, rattle, and be quite aggressive right off the bat. Number 5. Observe its tail. Hey, observe my tail as I'm running away. Another important difference in venomous snakes' appearance is their tail. More specifically, it's the pattern of scales on it that you want to pay attention to. You can always recognize a venomous snake by a visible line separating two rows of scales at the end of its tail. If you see a single row, you can sigh with relief. This snake is not venomous. Number 6. Beware of the way it swims. Oh lord. Hey, it's wearing floaties! Some reptile experts say that a lot of the time, venomous snakes can be recognized while swimming. They prefer to keep their entire bodies visible above the water as opposed to non-venomous snakes that swim with their bodies under the water. However, other sources claim that this isn't always the case. Of course. So whenever you see a water snake, don't forget to pay attention to the other factors as well. Me? I'm just getting the heck out of the water. Now that you know how to detect a venomous snake if you come across one by chance, let's see what you can do to avoid this rendezvous in the first place. Here are some precautionary measures you can take to minimize your chances of actually getting closer to a snake. Number 1. Snake-proof your property. Whether you live in the country or you've got a summer cottage, the best way to keep snakes at bay is to get rid of their favorite hiding places – tall grass and fallen branches. Keep your grass cut and your yard clear of debris. Spraying an ammonia solution in the far parts of your yard will provide additional help as well. Snakes can't stand its smell, 
so they'll stay away from it. Number 2. Pay attention to trees and bushes. Watching your step in the countryside is key, but don't forget about trees and bushes. Since snakes can slither up trees, you might easily be attacked if you're just casually walking by. So be careful and keep an eye out at all times. Boy, keeping an eye out might really hurt, you know. So let's just say, be on the lookout. Number 3. Choose the right shoes. Yeah, snakes do not prefer Crocs, for obvious reasons. Actually, always wear closed-toed shoes whenever you decide to take a walk in the country or the woods. Flip-flops, sandals, or any other sorts of open-toed shoes only make you more exposed to an attack in this situation. That's why they're surely not the wisest choice. Number 4. Turn off the lights. If you enjoy camping, here's a little trick for you to avoid snakes. Cover up all sources of light as you go to sleep, and never forget to shake your clothes out in the morning. Lights and human scent really attract snakes toward your attention. So eliminating these two factors will help you stay safe. Number 5. Never follow a snake. Or follow them on Twitter, and also unfriend them on Facebook. Hey, there are a lot of cases where people are bitten simply because of their curiosity. The thing is, snakes rarely attack someone out of the blue. They only do it if they feel threatened, and stalking them will provoke this reaction. Kinda like people do. So, the further you stay away from the snake, the better. Now, those tips should help you avoid an unpleasant encounter with a snake. But unfortunately, snake bites can still happen. So, you should know what to do in case you've been bitten. The first thing you must do is to call an ambulance. Once that's done, try to figure out if it was a venomous snake that bit you. If you don't remember what it looked like, examine your wound. Two painful close-set puncture marks with swollen and pale skin around them are strong signs that it was, in fact, a poisonous snake. Feeling nauseous, muscle weakness, and fever are obvious signs of poison in your system, too. As the ambulance is on its way, it's crucial that you try to stay calm and don't move. Panic and movement increase your heart rate, which only helps the venom spread faster throughout your body. If you can, try to keep the affected limb below your heart. This will help slow the venom down as well. If you see any venom outside of the bite, remove it carefully to ensure that it won't enter your already damaged skin. As for the popular method of sucking the venom out of the wound, it may not be such a good idea after all. The person trying to suck the venom out, whether it's you or someone else, risks cross-contamination through the mouth. The bite wound is full of venom that can infect the oral tissues, and the mouth is full of bacteria that can infect the bite. That's why experts nowadays usually advise against this technique. Which is a good thing because uh, <clears throat> I am not sucking anybody's bite. Applying different creams to your wound is a big no-no too, just like consuming alcohol or caffeinated drinks. These beverages affect your heart and help the venom spread faster. If you're thirsty, go for water instead. It'll keep you hydrated and help flush the toxins out of your body, which is a must in this critical situation. So, if you're still here through this whole snaky thing, tell us! Do you know any other helpful or interesting facts about snakes? Don't tell me, just leave it in the comment section below. Don't forget to give this video a like, share it with your friends, especially the ones who don't like snakes, and click subscribe to stay on the bright side of life. Whew.